First up, when you open up Canva, make sure you're on a 1920 by 1080. Doesn't really matter what the video is. I would actually even maybe even scale it up to 4K. That could be excessive. Let's just keep it at HD. 1920 by 1080. First thing, if you wanna make something transparent in video, all you really have to do is make it a green screen. So I like to go here and grab the brightest green I can find. Boom, that looks amazing. There you go, this is our transparent background. Keep this in mind and we're gonna start layering the things we want to pop in. So for example, let's say I want a speech bubble to come in. Speech bubble, we'll use, oh look, and they even have some that are already animated if that was what you were looking for. But let's say I like this one. I'll add it here, maybe get a little twist to it, change it to whatever proportions. And I want to add some sort of, I don't know, some sticker, which is some animated graphic that Canva has. And I just click animals and say, I want this paw print. Now it looks like I have this graphic where a speech bubble pops in and the, the paw prints start walking across. And that's all I wanted. We can now go into the top here and actually change the duration of our graphic. So let's say I want this to pop in for about five seconds. Perfect. Now you have two options here. You can actually go through each element on this page and animate each of them individually, or you can do what they call in Canva a page animation. To do a page animation, make sure you just have the page selected and you just click this top left button that says animate. You have all of these options when you go in that menu. Of course, these ones are Canva Pro, so I won't go through them. If you wanna see them, you can check them out. They give you a brief preview of how the graphic is going to interact when you press play. Pop seems really nice. Tumble is kind of pretty interesting. I think Rise is one of the nicer ones and so is Pan. Those are like the more subtle sort of graphic animations. Fade is pretty typical. And then you have a brief, which is like a slow zoom in, which I kind of like for this one. It gives a lot of energy. So let's say that's all I wanted. Now all you gotta do is click download, keep it as an MP4 and accept and there you go you will be downloading your first motion graphic for your video and that's just for like a simple sort of motion graphic let's actually do one that's more text related let's say i wanted some sort of square to pop up let's say this one something like this maybe i can have two lines of dialogue here let's see what we come up with how to make Perfect, perfectly sized. Then we can duplicate this, move it down. Money online. Let's say we wanted something like that. Let's stretch it out, stretch this one out, boom. And let's make sure it aligns up with this previous graphic, boom. All right, let's say we wanted it, we were happy with this as a graphic and we want this to animate. We can do it by page, which I kind of like how that looks. The pan looks pretty good too, but maybe what we should have is that the squares animate together. Make sure we have both of those squares selected. Boom, we'll control G to group them. Let's position them all the way to the back and then let's animate those. So we'll have it rise, all right? And then we'll have the text here. We'll group these two and we'll animate it so that these Ooh, I like that. The stomp looks pretty cool. Tumble looks pretty dope. Fade in's okay. Breathe is kind of kind of weird looking on text, actually. Hmm, the, the rise kind of makes sense, but I'm gonna use tumble to give it a little more liveliness. And now let's say we wanted this for 10 seconds just to like mess with it. And let's see how that looks for a quick preview. Boom, there's your motion graphic. After 10 seconds, let's see what it does. There is no exit. If you do want to create an animation out, all you have to do is add a new page and leave it blank. And when we do that, we can make this like 0.1 seconds, so it's the very last second. And if we do that and we check it, you'll see that at the end of this graphic, yeah, at the end of this graphic, it actually animates itself off the screen. Boom. Unfortunately, right now in Canva, you can only have the same animation out that you have animating in. So whatever you choose is what you're gonna get coming out. And let's say we're happy with that. We can click download and make sure it's all the pages and we'll download that one. And now we'll wait. All right, and now let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and see 
how we can apply these motion graphics onto our videos. All right, well, here we are in DaVinci's Resolve. I have an example clip here, and now we're just going to import our new media. It should be in your downloads or wherever you like to save it. I believe I called it motion graphic one and two right here, boom. And if we hover over, this is our sticker one. Let's add that one. You'll see that it just adds a green screen. If we scrub through, our animation pops in, and that's pretty much it. In DaVinci Resolve, all you have to do to get rid of a green screen is add a 3D keyer. Go to Effects, Open Effects, I believe, scroll down, and it's right here in 3D keyer. Plop that thing onto your clip. Make sure you have this button open. If you cl um, click this drop down menu, Open Effects Overlay has to be on. Otherwise, you won't actually be able to see your green screen effect. Then you can go to this top right menu, click Effect, and you can now start messing with the green screen. All you gotta do is click this add button and select the green and there you go. It now makes it transparent. To make it a little bit better though, you can click this despill button and it gets rid of that little tint of green that sometimes hovers on the edges of your subjects. And now we can just mess around. Let's say this is not the right size. We can size it down, move it up. We can even animate it within the Vinci Resolve now if we really wanted to get fancy. But let's see how this looks so far. Perfect. As you can see, our graphic works. It breathes in and it slowly expands, which is exactly how we saw it in Canva. And now let me show you how our text motion graphic looks. Drag it over our clip and we do the exact same thing. Effects, 3D keyer, go to the select button, select the green that you're going to make transparent, add a despill to get rid of that ugly tint of green that sometimes lingers. And then you could adjust the size. Let's say we like it right here. Like maybe this could be a, an advertisement, right? <laughs> and let's play that from the top. Boom. How to make money online appears. And unfortunately, this clip is too short. But if we had it shorter, it would actually animate itself out just like that. And there you have it. That's how you do motion graphics on Canva. It can be as simple as you want or as complex as you make it. So feel free to have fun with this. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more Canva tutorials, please leave a like and comment. Let me know because I'm just experimenting with content these days. And of course, if you want to see more videography related content, subscribe and I'll see you in the future. Peace.